This tutorial is a quick overview on how to use the FTBX 740C with the DWOCC module. Prior to any testing with an optical testing module, it's important to inspect and clean, if necessary, the connectors before starting any tests. To begin with, open the app toolbox. As you can see, when you open it, it will detect the inserted module in occurrence the FTBX 740C DWOCC. You can choose between the IOCC, the IOLM, or the OTDR app from that screen. As you begin a test, you will select the OTDR app. Click on the Identification tab, located at the right of the screen, to identify your trace for report purpose. Look at all the labels you can use for the identification in this window. You can fill out any of the ones that are not gray. Make sure you use the same kind of identification for each test. You can always go back to factory settings. The next setting you might want to verify is the test configuration. As you click on test configuration, a new window opens on the link definition tab. You have the possibility to change the wavelength. See more options by clicking on it and scrolling down the menu. Then select your pass fail thresholds and modify them if necessary for your test. You can modify the acquisition parameters such as the length of the launch fiber. To access the extended acquisition menu, click the three dots at the bottom of the screen. Before testing, check the channel at the bottom of your screen. Then you can change range, pulse, and duration on the right. You can change the settings if you know the fiber you're testing. If not, pick the Auto option and the OTDR will find the best settings. You are now ready to test. Once the test is completed, the results will be shown in the Event tab. You can see a summary of the measurement there, like the loss in reflectance, the length and loss of the fiber span, and the cumulative loss. To see more details on your measurement, go to the Measure tab. The Summary tab shows everything from your trace, like the wavelength and results, and the range, pulse, and duration settings. Next to the trace graph on the right, there is a panel to change how you see the trace. Going into the IOCC app, on the home screen, you can click on User Preferences to configure your test. After clicking on the Scan button, you will be connected to a dense wave division multiplexer which displays numerous channels. By accessing the table view, you can conveniently examine the individual channels and observe the frequency associated with their respective ITU channel identifications. Observing the power levels allows you to detect variations in their values. Specifically, some power levels may display readings in the negative 40s, suggesting a lack of light. This indicates that these power levels are currently inactive, potentially provisioned but not utilized. On the other hand, you'll also come across power levels that are operating efficiently. To generate a report, simply click on the Report button in the right panel. Moving on to the IOLM app, use the IOLM tab to adjust your test settings like the wavelengths, launch, loop, and receive fiber length. You can also select from the different channels. In the User Preferences tab, you can choose your save location, save format, and distance units. Note that you have the option to save the measurement automatically only if it passes. Click Apply when you are finished setting your preferences. The Test Configuration tab lets you set your pass-fail threshold, or you can keep the default setup configuration. In the Identification tab, you can enter the required info for your report. Click the Start IOLM button after setting your preferences. The Link View tab will display the entire link from the beginning to the end with color-coded elements indicating their pass-fail status based on the specified thresholds. The Element tab allows you to view the detailed characteristics of each component in the optical link, which can help you identify and troubleshoot any issues. This concludes the tutorial on the essential features of the FTBX 740 CDWOCC module.